Hi everybody, my name is Tim and today we're going to talk about minute of angle, which is abbreviated MOA. First thing is the minute and the definition of minute of angle has no relation to time. When we talk about minute of angle, minute of angle is a unit of angular measure. Therefore, we have to use degrees. When we use degrees, we use a circle of 360 degrees, zero all the way around to 360. So here you'll see that I have this circle here. This is representing 100 yards. Here is is a point from the center of the circle out to the edge of this 100 yards that is referred to as the radius is the distance from the center out to a point on the circumference of a circle we have in the center is where the position of the shooter is and the shooter is going to be shooting anywhere it could be shooting out to the 90 degrees here it could be shooting over here we could have a uh, target like right here we could have a target right there in between. We could have one on 200. We could have one over here at between 100 and 100, 200, which is 150. So we need to find our distance. And our distance is when we use a circle in geometry, R is your range distance. This R right here that you see in this formula, 2 pi R, R is your distance. The 2, the pi never changes, but the R does change. The R represents the distance from the center of the circle out to 300. So the R represents 300. The R would represent a 200. Um, and then the R would be represented with 100, 2 pi R, which is, by the way, that is the circumference of each one of these circles. So you'll see 2 pi R here, the definition 2 pi R here, outside the 100, and you'll see the definition of 2 pi R right here in 50 yards. And because we want minutes of angle and we want the, the final product in inches, remember you always change it in your multiplication in the formula yards to inches. So with that being said, we're going to dig down into one minute of angle is 1 60th of one degree. So what does that mean? Well, we first have to start out with, we have one degree, okay, and this is a blown up representation. I'm just taking one degree out of this circle of 360. These are called lines, but they're known in geometry as radii. And so if I draw a line straight out here and one going straight out here, and then you'll see in 100 yard, out to 200 yards, and out to 300 yards, the length gets wider as we go out. So here's the, what they call the arc length of 100. Here is a representation of the arc length of 200. You see it's wider. And you'll see the arc length for 300 yards is out here. Okay, And this, again, is one degree. And this one degree is actually an angle. And it creates this arc length up here. So I'm going to remove that. Why is that so important? Well, it's important because if we take this next graph and overlay it again, we're just using one degree. We want to find what is the length of each one of these lines. So what I'm saying is, okay, so now I want to know what is the length of each one of these arc lengths. There is a formula here, and I'm using the two at 200 yards, the angle, which is, and our angle is one degree, and then it's times, and then in parentheses, pi, which is a constant number, it never changes, 3.14159 divided by 180. You take the value of that, and then you multiply it by R. Now, again, this is where R comes in. R is the only thing that really changes, right? So we have R. R is our distance. We're at 200 yards. So I need to put, for R, I need to represent 200 yards in inches, so that's 7,200. And when I do the math, the final value is 125.66. So at 100 yards, if I do the same equation up here, the arc length in one degree all the way across is 62.83 inches. And then up here, at 300 yards, the length of this arc is 188.495 inches. Now we get into the nitty gritty. This one minute of angle is 1 60th of one degree. We only want one part of the 60 units across here. You have 60 equal minutes across here. And then at 200, you have 60 equal minutes across. 
And then same thing, even out to 300 and 400 and, and 1,000 yards, you're always going to have 60 equal minutes. The thing that changes is the distance changes, okay? So right here, I'm blowing this because we have one degree and I only want one part or one unit or one little piece of the 60 units, I only want to select one. So you'll see these little red squares. Well, that is the one degree that I'm using. All right, that's the one unit. And that one unit is one part of 60 units across. So remember, 1 60th is one part of 60 units of one degree. And here's our one degree down here. We're gonna take that number that we had before, right? We're gonna take these values, we're gonna take 188.495 inches, the total length here, we only want, okay, we only want one part, I only want one part of the 60 units across in this one degree that goes out at 100 yards, and I have 62.83 inches. There's 60 units along this line, and I only wanna use one. So to figure out the size of each one of those units and 60 units is, all I have to do is take 62.83 divided by 60 and I get 1.047 inches. If I go out to 200 yards, again, I look over here to the math I did over here and it's 125.66 for from the length from here to here, but I'm only taking 1 60th of one degree, meaning I'm only taking that one unit this one unit here, and I'm blowing it up. Okay, I'm look. I'm just blow, exaggerating it. I'm blowing it up here, and then I do the math again. So each one of these units, one of 60 units, what is only one of those? What's the size? Well, I take 125.66 divided by 60 because there's 60 units across. It gives me 2.094 inches. So at 200 yards. One minute of angle at 200 yards is 2.094. And then I could do the same thing up here at 300 yards and 400 yards and 500 yards. So basically it's that easy, that simple. So the one thing I want you to remember is that you can, you know, stop the video. You can take a look at these graphs that I've made and you can break it down on your own. So we have, this is the representation for 1 60th of one degree. Here is your breaking down the arc length, which is right here. And here's your equation. And then you have over here, you have your final math that you do. And so you take the values over here for the total arc length and then you put it in your equation, divide by 60, and then you get your minute of angle, you know, at each one of these distances. So remember, one MOA is always one, one minute of angle at any distance, 50 yards, 100 yards, 200, 250, 300, 400. One MOA is always one minute of angle, okay? And so there you have it. And, uh, I hope I helped, and if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave something down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.